I set off with a quite unusual outlook, I think. Thought through, but unusual. I used to say to friends and family, I confess I didn't necessarily say it to sponsors, that <laughs> I would say that when I get to the poll, I used to say if I get to the poll. And my friends and family used to say, that doesn't sound very positive. What do you mean if? Surely you have a bit more faith than that. And I realized what I was really doing was taking off some of the psychological pressure, which for me normally are quite capable and inclined to put e enormous psychological pressure on myself. And you have to actually drives you through, frankly, the suffering, mm. you know, embraced. I mean, you're doing it for, a, you know, you know why you're doing it. It's not that it's a surprise. So I'm not looking for any sympathy here, but it is very extreme. But I wanted to recognize from the start that this may not work. Almost not because anything I happen to have or haven't done, but because there are external factors that yeah. may be insuperable, and that's fine. Yeah. So don't have this sort of you're sort of absolutely sort of vibrating with sort of tension. You know, is the, is it going to you know is it going to work? Am I going to get there? You know, I've told everyone that I'm going to get there. It doesn't work. It's a stress. So I was just trying to take off any unnecessary negative stress and. When I set off, I wanted to be in a position on footstep number one of 16 million footsteps, and that was the number I knew that I would be taking, that there wasn't anything that I could really have done to get myself in a better state in terms of equipment, in terms of training, in terms of psychological state, than that. So that from now on, I would just have to deal with whatever happened. But I was no point and no need to look back and think, if only I'd done this or that. No. Yeah. This is as good as it gets, so bring it on. And to give an example what I mean, a small example, um, I sourced the lightest weight of everything. For example, AA batteries. I needed some AA batteries to power my GPS, my little lo satellite location units and so on. And you have to use, for the cold temperatures, you want lithium um, ones. And I discovered that some AA batteries weigh two grams less than others, depending on the manufacturer. Yeah. Now, if I defy you to hold two batteries and tell me which is the lighter one when there's a two gram difference, right? Uh, you can't do it. We can on electronic scales. And you may say to me, uh, Penn, if that's the sort of detail that you're worried about, I think there's some rather more important thing you need to worry about. To which I would say, yes, but two things. First, I knew when I pulled that sledge and you can hardly move it, it couldn't be any lighter, not by a gram. That's quite empowering to know. And secondly, it is straight physics. Every gram that you take, it's not, can I, you know, holding your hands and juggling, seeing which is heavier. You've got to move that gram through 800 kilometers, basically. Um, so it's a gram multiplied by 800 kilometers and the energy required to drag it through that distance. That's a long way, trust me, because I've done it. So because you're not, you're not able to pull enough food to replace, and calories, to replace all the calories that you burn over the course of an exhibition like that. I lost about half a pound a day in weight, both a combination of fat and muscle. Yeah. It's the muscle bit that's relevant. As you lose weight, because you can't pull enough at the start, you lose muscle, some of its muscle, for various complicated reasons. It's not the fat. You'd think that body burn all the fat, and then it would start to think about the muscle. No, it thinks, right, I'm in a state of survival here. It's a primordial mechanism. You can't control it. It says, got to, redu got to reduce calorie um, burn rate. So we're going to lose some muscle. So they, the body starts to break down muscle and get rid of it. So that it reduces your metabolic rate. So it reduces, even when you're asleep, you're burning less calories, which then, of course, is weakening you. You don't want that to happen, but you can't help it. So the less weight I pulled, the less muscle I was going to have removed. Yeah. And therefore the stronger I was going to be on any given day and therefore more likely to reach my goal. That gives some idea of both the psychology and the mechanics of really what we're trying to do here.